Hi everyone, this video will be about what undergrad major and classes you should take if you want to go into dental school. If you're new to my channel, my name is Brittany and I am a first year dental student and I make videos about dental school life and sometimes even dental school advice videos just like this one. So if you're a high schooler and you stumbled upon my channel, make sure to check out my video about what to do in high school if you want to go to dental school. So check that video out before you go to this one. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because one of the most frequently asked questions is what did you major in in undergrad? And what should I major in? So to address that question, in undergrad I majored in biological sciences and while a lot of people who want to go to dental school do major in something science related, there is no prerequisite that says that you absolutely have to be a science major or a biology major to apply to dental school. That being said, you can be any kind of major you want. You can major in business, psychology, um, I've even heard of one person majoring in like anthropology, I think that's what it is. But yeah, you can pretty much major in whatever you would like to do, whatever you're interested in, but the only thing is that you have to complete the prerequisites for that dental school. So what are these prerequisites? It varies for um, dental schools, but for the most part, the prerequisites are general biology, general chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, some type of English class, um, some schools require biochemistry, and some schools require psychology. So those are the main classes that you want to take in undergrad in order for you to move along and apply to dental school. I know I said that you could basically major in whatever you want to do as long as you get the prerequisites, but for me personally, I feel like there's a huge benefit in being a biology major or a biochemistry major. And why is that? It's because we have to take those prerequisite classes anyways and we get extra time to take the upper division classes that are actually really helpful for dental school. And if you were, let's say, a business major, you would have to take care of all your business courses first, you would take your prerequisites for dental school, but there might not be enough time in four years to take those upper division biology classes. So that brings me to the second part of this video, which is what undergrad classes that I took that personally helped me in dental school. I feel like if I didn't take these classes in undergrad, I would be so lost and so confused in my dental classes. The first class I think is absolutely important for everybody to take if you want to go to dental school is physiology. So what is physiology? Physiology is the study of how the body systems work. And this is different from anatomy. Anatomy is a structure, physiology is a function. So like for example, in my physiology class, what we're learning about is about the pulmonary system, so how we breathe, how lungs work, and how like we get ventilation. And we're also learning about the gastrointestinal tract or the GI tract and how digestion works, how ab absorption and secretion works, and how um, like how food gets in your body and how you dispose of it. The second course that I feel like is important to take is, I mentioned before, anatomy. So I've had several classmates in dental school right now who have not taken anatomy before in undergrad. And I feel like taking anatomy really helped me because anatomy, in my opinion, is basically like a foreign language. There are so many terms that you have to know and it just gets really confusing. But because I learned anatomy in undergrad, I'm able to, I'm like familiar with a lot of the words, but it's just mostly like reviewing and like brushing up and like expanding on that knowledge rather than starting from zero. The third most important class that I feel like you need to take is biochemistry. So I know that some dental schools don't require biochemistry as a prerequisite, but my school did and I feel like biochemistry is not to say not as important, but you definitely should take it in undergrad. Biochemistry is the study of the chemical things that happen in our body. So like amino acids, about carbohydrates, lipids, nucleic acids, how those components work. And I personally thought that biochemistry was super confusing in undergrad. Without taking biochemistry in undergrad, I would have been lost too because there's just a lot of processes that go on and it's very conceptual. For me personally, I'm not a very conceptual person. 
Um, it takes a long time for me to understand so many processes and kind of like make these connections in my brain. So that's why biochemistry, taking biochemistry in undergrad really helped. So the fourth class that I feel is very important to take and I feel like a lot of people kind of tend to forget about it is histology. So histology is the microscopic study of the structures of the tissue. So this is basically a lot of microscope work. Um, you look at things like epithelium of the skin. The reason why I think histology is very difficult is that everything looks pink. So in the body, a lot of our structures are colorless, so you have to stain these cells and tissues into something that is more visible, like pink or purple. So the reason why histology is confusing to me is that a lot of the times, everything just looks pink. Like how am I supposed to know cartilage and how am I supposed to know if this is bone? How my teacher says you have to be a detective and look for clues to see what structure that is that we're trying to look for. This next part that I'm going to talk about are the classes that I didn't take in undergrad but I wish I did take. The most obvious one is something like ceramics or sculpture. So as you guys know, obviously if you're clicking on this video and you're watching it, you know that dentists do a lot of hand work. Not to say that I'm not like, I'm very clumsy with my hands, I'm fine, like I'm pretty mediocre, like that's why I go to dental school to learn how to do it, but I definitely do not have the natural talent that some people have to just like be really handy with my tools and stuff. But I feel like if I took like an art class, specifically things with like hands-on material, I would have been more comfortable with really getting those hand skills needed for dentistry. So that is pretty much it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you have been subscribed for my videos for a while, you've known that I used to make a lot of vlogs, but recently school has been kind of not boring but it's been kind of like we do the same thing over and over again so please let me know what kind of videos you would like to see I've noticed that a day in my life as a dental student really gets a lot of popularity but like I said I do the same thing almost every day so what kind of videos would you like to see please leave a comment down below so I get to know and get some video ideas also, keep an eye out for videos about the DAT, the interview process, the application process for getting into dental school, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!